with the person who made the show possible, who's the executive producer of this show, and, and I might add a proud graduate of Stand-Up University who's making terrific strides in stand-up comedy, even performed in the big room here at Westbury. And uh, it is so delightful for me to introduce our first comedian, make her really feel welcome. She is the one and only Darcy Novick. Come on, give her a hand! Darcy Novick, let her hear it! Hi, everybody. My name is Darcy, and I'm happy to say I am a breast cancer survivor. In an effort to give back, I started a company called Bosom Buddies, where we sell t-shirts and raise money for the American Cancer Society. And to date, we've raised $125,000. I had no clue when I created this logo that my number one customer in this t-shirt design would be seventh grade boys. <laughs> Are there any survivors in the audience? I think you should get the t-shirt actually. All right. <laughs> Have a present. Oh, thank you. I just need some breasts now. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Spread the awareness. I also arrange bringing mammogram bands to poor neighborhoods where they actually do the breast exams right there in the van. So I put it out on Craigslist looking for volunteers and perhaps I worded it wrong. Because <laughs> you're never going to guess who showed up. The entire Hofstra football team. <laughs> and Bill Cosby. <laughs> I live in an apartment building in Bayside. Well, it's actually more like an old age home for Jewish people. Everyone there thinks they're my mother. For example, I live on the sixth floor and I got in the elevator this morning and it stopped at five. Mrs. Blaustein got on and said, you're going out like that without a jacket? Like I was 10. Then the elevator stopped at four. Mrs. Schwartz got on and she goes, oh, Mama Shana, you have a little schmutz on your cheek. Let me get that for you. And then she <laughs> licked her thumb. <laughs> If that wasn't bad enough, the elevator stopped at three and Mrs. Goldberg got on and said, have you found a husband yet? <laughs> Thinking, thank God I don't live on the 18th floor. <laughs> I live on the sixth floor in Queens. They <laughs> the same thing happens. <laughs> no, they're actually very nice people. As a matter of fact, Mrs. Blaustein invited me to her home for the Jewish holiday. And as soon as I got in the door, she's like, let me get you something to eat. I have chicken, I have rugula. And then she kind of gave me that once over, up and down look and said, better you should have the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so a little later in the evening, I was talking to her son, rugula in hand, and out of the corner of my eye, I see Mrs. Blaustein lunging at me like I was holding a hand grenade. She yanks the rugula from my hand and said, you'll thank me tomorrow. <laughs> I don't go to Mrs. Blaustein's anymore. <laughs> but I did take the hint and I joined the gym. And I went on that machine I like to call the treadmill. <laughs> Lucky for me, there's this cute guy in the treadmill next to me every, every weekend. And he said to me, uh, listen, I have two tickets to Billy Joel on Saturday. Are you free? So I was trying to play it cool. So I'm like, well, let me check my calendar. He's like, oh great, because if you are, I was hoping you could dog sit. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> then we started talking about music, and he said he liked Bruno Mars and Jay-Z, and he asked if I did, and I was like, uh, yeah, me too. But just as I was saying it, my headset cord popped out of my iPod, and all you could hear blasting is David Cassidy. <laughs> I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now this morning was the worst. Cute gym guy said to me, the Boy Scouts of America want to honor me at a black tie event next month. Would you go? I'm like, would I go? What would I wear? He's like, where? What? No, I meant would you go if you were me? <laughs> I don't go to that gym anymore. <laughs> and I don't mind being 49 and single, but my mom sure does. <laughs> She actually read my diary and got so bored she spell-checked it. 
My mom's really smart. I must take after my dad. Because <laughs> I studied so hard in school, and I miss being valedictorian by like, this much. And I was homeschooled. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the prom because my date is somewhere here in the audience. Oh, hi, Daddy. <laughs> I hate that my parents are getting old. They can't see, they can't hear, and the thing I hate most is they have a reverse mortgage. <laughs> oh, no. Now, I'm not saying that my parents shouldn't drive. Yeah, I am. My parents should definitely not be driving. But I did buy them a GPS for their anniversary. And my dad called me this morning all upset. He's like, I'm with your mother looking for Walgreens and this thing is saying recalculating, recalculating, recalculating. I'm like, dad, what address did you put in for Walgreens? He said, the corner of happy and healthy. with these people. The three of us are always on a diet, so we never order fattening food for ourselves. We order for the table. So last night we're out to dinner. I ordered the fish. My dad ordered the chicken, and my mom ordered the salad, fat-free dressing on the side. Then she said, oh, can we get an order of french fries, an order of mozzarella sticks, and an order of fried calamar for the table? <laughs> of course, when the meal was done, the only thing left untouched was the fish, the chicken, and the salad with the fat-free dressing on the side. After that meal, I decided to join Weight Watchers, where every food has a point value, and when your points are done, you're done for the day. Last night, my sister caught me on eBay looking to buy other people's points. I wanted to get my mind off food, so I signed up for a tennis lesson. So as soon as I got out on the court, the pro Joanne said to me, I'm gonna feed you three balls. And I'm thinking, oh good, I'm starving. <laughs> then she said, all you need to do is serve the ball, get it in the box. Serve the ball, get it in the box. Piece of cake. Did someone say cake? <laughs> After all my dieting efforts failed, I decided to get a lap band. And I was telling my hairdresser about it, and all of a sudden this obese woman comes up to me and said, excuse me, did I just overhear you got a lap band? Can I ask you some questions? I said, sure. You're gonna be so happy you made this decision. It's gonna change your life. You're gonna thank me. She said, me? I wasn't asking for me. I was asking for my husband. I don't, I don't go to that salon anymore. <laughs> what else? I love Facebook, but I think it can be a bit limiting. For example, last week my friend posted that her dog passed away and 18 people clicked like. I'm thinking, you like that her dog died? Wouldn't it be great if we had a few more button options? Like, that really sucks. Or, way to go. Or my favorite button, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Darcy Novick! Darcy Novick, come on, give her a hand. Darcy!